Hello, everybody. Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. Metagross and Gyarados. Metagross and Gyarados are coming to Pokemon Unite. Yeah, and so much more has been announced, has been leaked. These are official announcements from Pokemon. We also have leaks coming here from El Chico Evia about what's coming to Pokemon Unite. Remember that time that Jake said he wanted Magikarp in Pokemon Unite and then he just started Magikarping all over the place? Well, that is happening right now. I cannot wait i'm so excited to see this in the game our next two all-rounders coming to unite have been confirmed we've been talking about metagross for a while i've been talking about gyarados to anyone who could listen and now it is coming to the game along with a ton of other stuff that we know about a bunch of stuff that we don't of course unfortunately this game has been completely sidelined for the chinese banner and we're never going to see any of this i kid i kid i'm just being a jerk right now let's start talking about it from el chico ev meowscarada metagross and gyarados all coming to the pts in that order Order of Meowskarata this week and then Metagross next week. I believe and then Gyarados is coming in December so we should be seeing releases for this Pokemon uh either late November December January or December December January is what it looks like and then of course we have Pokemon Unite Day Pokemon Unite Day Pokemon Day coming in February which I by the way call Pokemon Unite Day apparently and that will most likely be our next legendary Pokemon coming to the game speaking of legendaries we have news surrounding legendary we just have so much it's like the news is coming in hot and fast here it's like johnny storm let's hit this legendary information gosh there's so much where is it where is it where is it where is it hold on hold on magic carp where is it there's a big piece of news that i wanted to get through first here as you can see in this image right here mewtwo x y and zashian here all have ex licenses meaning that you can only have one of them here inside of a game at a time which is huge um obviously these pokemon are crazy powerful and this is something that we have talked about for a little while here and i think this is a really good change so i'm interested to see exactly how they want to implement this you know in the game exactly and how many pokemon we're going to be looking at to have a function like this but without question if more legendaries are coming to the game and we can only have one of them on a team this at least solidifies their idea of legendaries being unique to a squad in their power level and unique to a squad and then you can only have a single one i don't love it i don't i gotta be honest this isn't my choice but this is better than the current system we have where you could load into a game and they could have mewtwo zashian maridon Caridon, and magikarp or something like that and that could be uh, a real disaster here so i think this is a good piece of news even though i don't love this concept let's keep this train rolling right along with this mewtwo battle pass trailer right here the next battle pass for pokemon unite oh god it's mewtwo i mean it's not that it's not cool and the music is right it's what an evil time okay I, uh, 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 this might be the first battle pass that I'm not excited about, I have to be honest with you. Sableye getting a little, uh, hollow wear right here. Let's take a, let's see the, if the trainer outfits are good. Oh, damn, they're beautiful. Okay. Well, still, uh, <laughs> the white one is gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, uh, uh, okay. Okay. F fine. Fine. Uh, fine. I'm just going to move on from this. I know for some people this is very cool, um, but I, I have to say that this battle pass is going to make me die. So let's move on to ne the next thing. We have images for Metagross. We have Metagross's moves right here which is looking pretty awesome. I'm going to let you guess what they all are, you know, whether they're iron defense or something like that. Uh, this is our first one right here. This is one that we kind of saw leaked earlier. I'm not 
I don't know exactly what all these moves could be. Please, if you have an idea for each one, let me know in the comments as we go through this right here. But we saw this as well as a leaked image for Metagross's moves earlier. Got the arm flying off here to do some damage. Continuing to take a look here. Looks like possibly Zen Headbutt or Headbutt. And I don't know exactly what we're looking at right there. And this is possibly what we were looking at for its Unite move. Sort of this move that targets enemies around you in this area here. And it kind of looked like something Inteleon was bringing into a match. But clearly, it's very much its own thing as Metagross is coming to the game very soon. We have news that Remote Stadium could be coming back to Ranked. With both maps being inside of Ranked. Which is crazy. Um, but what that could mean is that we have multiple ranked maps, something that we've talked about for a while, with a third map being added to the game. So this is honestly wild news right here. And I would love to see an updated remote stadium, and I would love to see a new map as well. Of course, we've got Metagross. We've got Gyarados. Yeah, let's go. And here he is. The star of the show, it's Magikarp. It's the only thing I ever wanted. I remember I was talking to some of the people from Pokemon Unite at Worlds at one point, and they were kind of just, you know, like, hey, if there was any Pokemon you would want added to the game, what would it be? You know, everyone was going around. And I said, Gyarados. And I remember the person gave me, I said Magikarp actually, and I remember the person gave me a wry smile and I said, what's with that smile, you salty dog? And they really didn't say anything about it, but I thought, oh, this would be nice. And then my casting partner, Doobsnacks, uh, proceeded to beg them for Pelipper for two hours straight and the entire time I argued against it just because I want what I want and he doesn't get what he wants and now I'm getting it. It seems that for Christmas we'll be getting 10 balls for the free prize thing so we have a new free prize mechanic coming up with uh, it looks like uh, Gardevoir getting some uh, special mechanics for their hollow wear, very similar to what happened uh, with Zara Aura. And now we have some Meow Skirata moves. I know we're gonna have gameplay from these three Pokemon here very soon that I'm gonna be able to record for you, but let's talk about these moves right here because we have some information and let me try to fit this better on the screen. So we're going through all the moves here for Meow Skirata. We have Leafage, shoots out leaves that deal damage to opposing Pokemon they hit and decrease move speeds. So these are the basic ones. We have Hone Claws, has the user sharpen its claws while moving, increasing the speed and damage of its next three basics. And let us let us continue right here. We have Flower Trick, has the user attach a flower bomb to an opposing Pokemon. The flower bomb can be detonated at will if this move is used again, and when it explodes, it deals damage based on the percentage of HP the opposing Pokemon has lost. If the user deals damage to an opposing Pokemon that has a flower bomb attached to it, the explosion's area of effect is increased and its damage is increased. If the user knocks out a Pokemon, the move cooldown is reset. So Flower Trick is going to have resets. The upgrade increases the explosion's area of effect and increases move speed after it's used. It's gonna have Night Slash, throws slashing waves with its claws, dealing damage, applying a mark to opposing Pokemon that the slashing waves hit. The user's basics have an increased critical hit rate on marked opposing Pokemon. When the user deals damage to the marked Pokemon with basics, the move cooldown is reduced and the user recovers HP, very nice. And the upgrade increases crit and HP recovery. Sounds strong, sounds strong. We've got its Unite move, Floral Flourish. Floral Flourish. Say that 20 times fast. Has the user... I don't know why 20 times. Has the user move instantly in the designated direction, creating a whirlwind of flowers or in itself continually dealing damage to opposing Pokemon. While using the move, the user cannot use other attacks and the move can be canceled if it, if it is used again. Very, very nice. It's passive. After the Pokemon takes damage that reduces its HP to max HP or less, it disappears into leaves for a short time. For a short time after that, oh, this is surprising. The Pokemon's move speed and damage dealt increase, and each time the Pokemon deals damage, it recovers HP. The ability goes on cooldown after it's triggered. It's basics. When a set amount of time passes, the next basic becomes boosted. Boosted attacks have the user leap. Oh, okay. So this is not like uh, based on the number of hits. It's a set amount of time. And there's some Meowscarada moves for everybody, which all look pretty cool. We've got Double Team as well that we accidentally missed in there. Let's take a look at Double Team. As I take a look at Flower Trick again. 
Double team has the user create an illusory copy, copy of itself while dashing in order to befuddle opposing Pokemon. If the move is used again, the user swaps places with the illusory copy. When this swap happens, or when the illusory copy's HP drops to zero, flower petals are scattered around dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and leaving them unable to act, so it's got a stun in there. The upgrade increases the time that the illusory copy remains before disappearing and decreases the damage taken by the copy. And then the other option here is Trailblaze. Has the user leap to the designated location, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and leaving them paralyzed. If this move hits opposing Pokemon with its move, its basic attack speed and movement speed increases. When this user is in tall grass, the move range... Oh man, so it pounces out of tall grass. If the user knocks down an opposing Pokemon, the move cooldown is reset. Ah, so it's got more resets. Uh, it grants the user a shield when the move is used on the upgrade. Wow. That's very cool. Meow Scrot is going to be really cool. And now the here's the here's the real reason we're here, right? Magikarp. Magikarp. Gyarados. Boo. Boo. I can't wait for freaking Gyarados, dude. Magikarp. Oh man. Very nice. This is so cool. Oh, I can't wait. We got a we got a little more information here. We've got its sound. I think it's got the same sound as a zoom roll, apparently, is what they're saying. There's Metagross. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have two new items, by the way, coming to the game. I can't believe they're... Turn that off. I can't believe they're not making anything anymore because of the Chinese game. Uh, here we go. I'm such a petty person. Uh, forgot about this. Two new items. Energy is charged throughout movement and basic attacks. Dealing damage to opposing Pokemon when energy is full will deal additional damage. That's one of these items. So that'll be really interesting. If move, if energy is charged through movement and basic attacks with this first item, you can see really mobile Pokemon using this in some exciting ways. And the next item grants a shield to the user and nearby allies when dealing damage to opposing Pokemon. Um, I wonder how much damage you have to deal to trigger the shield. This feels like something really good for brawlers and stuff. Like, imagine Outrage Dragonite or Gyarados having an ability like this. Uh, we've got some Magikarp footage. Come on now. Come on now. What a sweet little guy. And apparently he doesn't level normally. He has kind of this effort gauge that he has to stack up. That you can kind of see right there. And it goes up when he's dealing damage. And then eventually he'll hit level 5, I believe, and evolve. I mean, guys, how amazing is that? How amazing is that? I know we're going to have more information soon. We'll have footage of these Pokemon, but I had to get this out here because, holy, I mean, it is just, it's amazing stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for always being there for me when I said I needed Magikarp to come to Pokemon Unite because that day is coming very, very soon. I love you all. I'll see you all very soon. Yeehaw. Mm -hmm.